Okay, well, I'm fucking upset. Uh, four hour live stream just ended for no fucking reason uh, while I was in the middle of killing Medusa. You know, it was a long fight. I mean, granted, it hasn't taken me four hours to kill Medusa. It took me four hours to get from 48 to 50. But now this is going to be just a short live stream of me killing Medusa. And then going and doing... I'm just going to make this one short. We're going to kill Medusa. Oh. Shadows. Okay, so I complete Shadows of... Okay, so uh, that's easy. I thought I had to do this quest and then Shadow of Serpents is going to unlock, but that seems doable. So this is going to be a kind of a short live stream. Uh, we're just going to... She's already at like half health. Uh, this one's going to be a double upload. With that four hour one, so I'm going to keep it kind of short. We're just going to do this and that and then end it, sadly. So I'll catch y'all at the end of the video. Bro. Okay. God damn it.
Oh my F. Bro, I can't even stop this.
Bro, I don't even know where the fuck she's at. transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. Um, should I touch this motherfucking thing? Oi, vey. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. All right. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. The fuck? Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. 
We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Facts. I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as ECU as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Oh. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. But the nine Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation, I'm sure of it. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, this one's Medusa. Yeah, this one was hard. Medusa was probably one of the hardest ones. I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors have endless challenges in your past. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Okay. Okay. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Fear not. Above the cloud. Oh. Bitch, why'd you stop talking? I wasn't done listening. Oh, this motherfucker. The Sphinx. This one was easy. The easiest one, probably. This is just a riddle. I mean, then you can choose to fight it, but why would you want to fight a bird with a snake? Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. Thank you. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. 
The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. Oh, I think she's talking to you that time. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is... An opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Yep, definitely talking to you that time, bud. The last one. The last melon. Ha! Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Hmm. Who do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. Thank you. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness. Fiction. When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There is so much to learn. This knowledge we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. 
Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. I guess that was the power of the staff. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, I thought y'all all left, honestly. My little thing over here said it was I was by myself. Yo. Ooh, what? What? I'm not gonna lie, that shit scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Popped up and was like, hey bitch, how you doing? Like, Mother of Pearl. Um, That was fucking wild. What the shit? Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the fucking stat. That thing. That thing's retarded, bro. What the hell? Wait, what? Oh shit, no way. Bro, that's effing lit. What the shit? Ooh. Oh boy. No oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking epic. 25% cooldown duration on all abilities. Bro. Get out of here. Bro, that shit was wild. I didn't know I could bring it back piece by piece. I just... I literally... Hmm. Huh. Sick. Okay. This is too dangerous. I must seal it. Am I gonna lose the staff? Oh. What? Oh. Bitch, what the fuck? I forgot that we were here. Everything in order? Then, open sesame. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, the Taurus. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot.
Thank God we did that. Oh, a boulder fell in the way of one of the lights. Okay. How the hell am I gonna move a fucking boulder? Are you effing me? Did anybody even think that, like, bitch, how the hell are you gonna move a boulder? Can we climb up the goddamn rock or not? Is that... <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Layla, that pillar looks like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Oh, these? You said these can move? Okay. What? There we go. I'm a genius. Don't worry it. about it. Yeah, effing right, dude. You'd break our goddamn skinny elbows. A VR headset for the Animus. Funny. What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Sandra? Yes, I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you, but you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. <laughs> I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... 
You used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Irodotos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. Hey. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... ...belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done... ...destroy it. Destroy them all. Oh. Oh, okay. Back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. Do you, I wonder, do you have to be holding on to the staff? Always? Like, do you, if you, like... What the literal... What is that? What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Vanellas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? <laughs> it's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. <sighs> he was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> Stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means 
is sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Irovotos. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the ego-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she too is immortal. <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. I want to know who the fuck she gave the spear to. Barnabas? Probably Barn Barnabas. No. He's... You know? Can I, can I... Oh, we destroyed it, man. All right. Where's the sun? I just want to see. There it is. All right. Let's see what this quest is real quick. Might do, it, might not. I don't know. We'll see. What's wrong? My parents. Irodotos. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. Don't worry, bud. I'll make sure you get there safe. Ah, puts us right there next to our shit. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do this quest.
Rotto This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high, walk with purpose, push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way. the rest of the Greek world. Living near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, and from the sailors often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days fondly. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Mm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. One of your toys? It was my brother's. 
I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. A tablet? Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was. Ah. Young Harotatos. That's your brother. Praise the gods! It's been far too long. It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. I can't. I should go. I'm glad you're back. Oh. That other one's his brother. That one's just like a family friend or something. <laughs> you have some nerve, little brother. You stroll back into this house when you didn't even return for the funeral. I regret ever sending you that letter. Why doesn't everyone just take a deep breath? How could you say I didn't come back when I'm here, right now? We came as soon as the letter arrived. Bitch, your lines are fucking cutting out. I'm a... She's a friend. Oh, how nice. You went off to write and explore while making friends. And you left me here to take care. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could have taken me with you. I have things to attend to. One of us still cares about Samos. At least tell me where they died. We marked a spot on the nearby cliffs. Pay your respects, and then leave. There's nothing for you here now. <sighs> Give him some time. I'm sure he's just surprised to see you. His eyes showed hatred. He probably missed you. You'll see. It's a I bit think late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own but with Theodorus and Mister. <laughs> so they were often busy. What in but it wasn't the life for you. There's only so many ships you can see sail away as a boy before you feel the pool to leave as well. Understandable. Oh, sure. So what the? Yeah, good luck with that, guys. I'm not. Not killing a bear today. Why did we come down here? You're fucking annoying, dude. Well, 
What? Why are we fucking return? Bitch, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck are we doing? Dog, I shouldn't have accepted this goddamn quest from you, bro. Bitch, where the fuck are you going? to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There's no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But you're not a fighter, Irodotos. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember when my father taught me to swim. He tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown. But then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore. Only to see it was Theodorus with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. What did your parents think of your writing? They always encouraged it. It helped that Theodorus was talented as well, although he always felt more drawn to poetry. If it weren't for their support, there's a good chance I would have never pursued it. Did your parents like it on Samos? It was more than just a home to them. I saw how happy this place made them. And only wanted to feel the same somewhere as well. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing than I do speaking. I'm not going to judge. And I know they wouldn't either. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew they'd be happy for me no matter what. I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner. There was so much I wanted to tell you, to show you. Mother, you were one of the strongest people I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. We should head back.
a feeling they don't belong. We should see if Theodorus or Nistor know anything. I've never heard of them being on Thrabos. Nothing is going on. Maybe Theodorus would know. Followers of Ares here. I don't understand. The question is whether they came on their own, or someone sent them. Neither outcome is favorable for us. Nor we Samos. Wait much longer. I wonder what my parents will do. Exactly we what we're going thing. to do. This Protect war has Samos. Caused enough problems. Samos doesn't deserve to be caught in the middle. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. God's cursed these warring Greeks. Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Eris. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Strange ships, docking, groups of people you haven't seen before? No, things have been normal. It's been a welcome change. Have either of you heard of the Followers of Eris? Only in name. Who are they? They only care for one thing. War. And you believe they're here, on Samos? They're the ones who attacked us. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. She's right. If the followers of Ares are here, there's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. Why do I feel like homeboy's got something to do with it? They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodorus and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. Come here, bitch, C Cassandra, can you literally just climb up the goddamn lady's head? Fucking climbing around her fucking head. Ain't gonna get us nowhere. Alright, this is gonna be the end of this live stream. Because I had to get up and go to work in a few hours. So, I had to try to get a little bit of sleep. You know what I mean? Um, it's been real. Whenever we get, whenever I get back on tomorrow, we will finish helping Harotatos with this little, <sighs> this little endeavor, and then we're gonna do this. No, no, no. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. We're gonna finish this though tomorrow as soon as I get on. And then from there, we'll figure something out. I don't know. Uh, it's been real. Catch y'all on the flip-flop.